Instagram pages of General Jafari and General Soleimani had about 900k and 370k followers, as well as Chief of Staff of Iranian Armed Forces Major General Mohammad Hussein Bakery, head of Iran's state conscription organization Brigadier General Mausa Kamali, former head of the state-run TV, IRIB, Azatollah Zarqami who had once served as an IRGC member, as well as a long list of other IRGC commanders. The move was made just a day after the IRGC was formally blacklisted by the US as a foreign terrorist organization following a relevant announcement by President Donald Trump on 8 of April. Responding to Washington's move, Iran immediately declared the US as state sponsor of terrorism and American forces in the region terrorist groups. Iran's top security body, the Supreme National Security Council SNSC, in a statement declared the United States a terrorist government, and blacklisted the CENTCOM and all its affiliates a terrorist group. The SNSC, that is headed by President Hassan Rouhani, condemned Washington's move calling it an illegal and dangerous section that poses a major threat to regional and international peace and security and grossly violates the rules of international law. The statement further condemned the U.S. decision as unlawful and unreasonable action prompted by the Islamic Republic's regional influence and success in fighting against terrorists, and blamed CENTCOM for harming Iran's national security as well as ruining the lives of innocent Iranian and non-Iranian individuals to promote the U.S. aggressive policies in West Asia, the Middle East. The Islamic Republic of Iran regards this baseless move as a major threat to regional and international peace and security and a blatant violation of the compelling rules of international law and the United Nations Charter. Iran's top security body reiterated, also, General Jafari blasted Washington for designating the IRGC as a terrorist organization stressing that his forces would further increase power in the year ahead. General Jafari described the U.S. move as ridiculous, saying that the IRGC is in the hearts of the people. God willing, the IRGC will grow stronger in the coming year in defensive and offensive fields more than before, he said. Much to enemies' dismay, the IRGC and the army will stand together and will continue to support the deprived and the oppressed people all over the world without fear. General Jafari said last Wednesday, V.